going to celebrate, we're going to celebrate Easter this Sunday because Jesus came and he went to the cross and he died for our sins and he rose from the grave on Easter Sunday. But before that ever happened, we go all the way back to the beginning. You know in the beginning of the Bible, in Genesis, when God said, in the beginning, God created. He created everything that we see on this earth today, including man and woman. And man and woman were put in this, you remember when you got so many of the story, when God created man and woman, what were their names? Adam and Eve. And where did God put Adam and Eve? Garden of Eden. And, and God told Adam and Eve that they, they can have everything in the garden, right, except one thing. Uh, everything in the garden of Eden was beautiful and it was perfect. It was like paradise. But God said, Adam and Eve, you can have everything you want. It's all for you, except for this one, this one tree that had apple. You can have everything else except that. And what did, what did Adam and Eve decide to do? Gosh, so we can blame everything on Adam and Eve, right? Right. Well, they, because they did it, because they chose to eat the fruit, what is that called? Sin. What? Sin. You know what you said? It's called sin. sin. When we do something, when we do something wrong that's not good, or like maybe if you disobey your parents, when you cheat on a test, or you lie to somebody, or you do something that you know is wrong. It's called sin. And when we sin, this is what it does to our hearts. Okay? It, it makes our hearts, it makes all of our body really dirty and unclean. And that's what happened with Adam and Eve. Because they chose to eat the fruit that they weren't supposed to eat. They were dirty. And they committed a sin. And God was not very pleased and not very happy with them. Well, then you fast forward years later. And God said, because of all of the sin, because of all of the, the dirty sin, and all of the evil, and all of the wickedness, and the lying, and the stealing, and all kinds of sin, God said, you know what? Because of all that, I'm going to send my only son. And his name was? So God sent his only son. Jesus came to the earth. Can you guys tell me how many years Jesus lived on the earth before he died on the cross? 33 years. He, he only lived 30, some of y'all might think that's old. That's not very old. He only lived 33 years. And so God sent his son Jesus to live on the earth for 33 years. And do you know what? He lived all 33 years and he never sinned. He was perfect. And you know that he is the only one that has ever been perfect, and he's the only one that will ever be perfect. That's why God sent him. But that's not the only reason God sent him. God sent him so that he would go to, what's this called? Because God sent him so that he could go to the cross, because that was the only way that God could clean up all of the dirty sin, lying, stealing, cheating, and all of the wickedness that's in there. So when Jesus went to the cross, they beat his body, and all of that blood was poured out on the cross. You know what he did for us? Look at that. You see what that water did? That water was just shoving and dirty and everything, it wasn't. But when Jesus came and he went to the cross, and he died for us, he made us clean. That's what Jesus did for us. But it didn't stop there, it didn't end there, because that happened on what we call Good Friday, right? When we have Friday, that's what we call Good Friday. He, that's, that's when he went to the cross and he died for us. But then on Sunday, that's all we celebrate. He didn't say the he came out of the grave. So today, we have a living and very much alive Jesus. Amen? We have a Jesus that's very much alive. He loves you. Again, if you don't remember anything that Randy says to you today, because of what he did on the cross, because of all that sin that he can take away from your life, he loves you. Jesus loves you. Okay? Can I pray with you guys?